the impact of the conservative Christian voting bloc cannot be underestimated. But as we saw, where their vote will land for 2024 is still undetermined. Although there may be one potential candidate that holds the key, former Vice President Mike Pence. Joining us now to talk about it more is Chief Washington anchor Leland Vittert, also the host of On Balance, which is coming up right after this show. Uh, but on Monday, former Vice President Mike Pence joins you again. Uh, to on News Nation's brand new political show called The Hill. Does Pence have a chance to poach off those evangelical voters, do you think? Uh, he certainly wants to think he has a chance. He's going to be out in Iowa at the Faith and Freedom Conference uh, this weekend, just before joining us. And the title of his book, So Help Me God, uh, a reference to the oath of office, of course, uh, is something that, that the vice president, the former vice president, has in his favor. Remember, he was picked specifically by then-candidate Trump in uh, 2016 to help sure up the evangelical vote. Uh, it's easy to forget uh, October of 2018, where the, the grabber by the P-tape came out, and it was vice president, it was then Governor Pence's uh, sticking by Donald Trump that really mattered. Uh, the, the question is going to be is can he convince enough evangelical voters uh, that he has the ability to win uh, the nomination. Mm. Uh, we can back test that a little bit in 2016 with Ted Cruz, who was certainly a much more formidable primary candidate at this time in the cycle back right. in 2016. And Cruz was, it was everything evangelicals wanted and still... Uh, the Republican nomination went to Donald Trump. So I'm just curious, Leland, why do you think they're not going with Trump again? Is it because they've done the calculus and they think he's not going uh, able to win the general election? Or is it something else? I think it's way too early to say they're not going with Donald Trump again. I think we can say that there is some openings a, a for a Christian conservative to come in mm. and that we can say that the, the support of Donald Trump isn't as strong as it was obviously in 2020. But I, I think we're way too early to say that they're not with him again. And you think about where we were in the cycle uh, in 2016. Certainly Donald Trump has more of the conservative Christian evangelical vote now than he did back then. Uh, and we know how that turned out. So it may be a little early, and I think that we don't quite know yet uh, the balance between them, Christian evangelicals saying, look, he delivered on judges and he delivered on overturning Roe versus uh, his recent missteps on abortion uh, that have raised some eyebrows, including saying uh, that the reason conservatives lost and Republicans lost in 2022 was because of abortion. We saw Ron DeSantis just today uh, making another outrage to um, evangelical voters. And we heard in the piece from Robert Sherman, some, some evangelical voters are saying, I'm putting my money on him because I think he's more electable um, in the general election. Certainly at this point, Ron DeSantis has more support than former Vice President Pence. Sure. Uh, certainly in the polls, he has way more support. Uh, polls at, at this point of time, you, you really have to take with a, a grain of salt. And you think about who has the momentum and who peaks when they peak. One of the things that we're going to talk about uh, with the former vice president, uh, who's also sort of playing this am I in or am I out dance that Ron DeSantis is playing is, how much do you worry, Mr. Vice President, that you're about to have a week sometime soon uh, in the way that Ron DeSantis just had right. the worst political week of his life? And how long can you wait? If you're going to get in, how long can you wait before worrying about something like this past week? Yeah, I think that's the frustration we keep hearing from Republicans. Uh, are you in or are you out? And if you're in, are you going to fight <laughs> like hell or are you going to you know, stand on the sidelines and say, but I'm good too? You know, it's very, if you're going to get in, you got to get in with both feet. So, yeah, all right. Time means everything, right? It is. Leland Vittert, thank you so much. And stay tuned to watch Leland right after this show. And, of course, join Leland on Monday as News Nation debuts The Hill. The premiere episode will feature, as you just heard, former Vice President Mike Pence live with Leland and the panel. You can watch The Hill weekdays at 5 p.m. Eastern only on News Nation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.